title of this writing is Your Heart's Desire. A few years back, I wrote about one of my favorite songs, When You Wish Upon a Star. I first heard it as a child when watching the movie Pinocchio. Two lines from the song impressed me very deeply. One, if your heart is in your dream, no request is too extreme. Two, when you wish upon a star makes no difference who you are. Anything your heart desires will come to you. It wasn't until much later in life that I discovered the magic behind these lyrics. As a child, I thought they were about wishing. And like any child, I had my fair share of wishes that didn't come true. I'm specifically remembering one about a pony. <laughs> that led to a lot of disappointment to the point that I gave up on wishing altogether. It dawned on me that wishing is just talking to yourself, something that has never resulted in making a dream come true. In order to achieve your heart's desire, you have to get past the thinking stage. That means you have to take your dream to heart, which is a fancy way of saying that you already have the internal resources, the heart, to get what you want. You just have to get your mental critic out of the way for your heart to have its say. All creativity comes from this quiet place of the heart. The more often you get there, the less often you'll be a puppet to your thinking. We've been conditioned to think that only certain fortunate people get to achieve their dreams. The song preaches from a different hymn book. Makes no difference who you are. If I could change one phrase in the lyrics, I would change the words, come to you, to come through you. Your dream isn't out there somewhere. Its raw materials are already in you, ready to be assembled in the quiet recesses of your heart. If you continue wishing, your nose will continue to grow. You already have your heart's desire. You just have to get quiet more often to make it so. All the best, John.